All right, guys, welcome back to video two of my Jackson Rhodes. Uh, this video, we're just gonna be taking stuff apart and taking a look at all the different components. Um, I'm gonna do, just clean everything. I'm gonna take the bridge apart and rebuild it, get rid of all the rust on all the screws and just clean and polish it real well and do a good setup on it. All right, got the bridge off. So we've got a 42 millimeter block. This is uh, the JT590. Let's see if we can get to focus on that. See that little square up there, it says made in Germany. It's in pretty good shape. A little bit of uh, paint peeling up here, but not a big deal. Overall though, the blades are just like absolutely perfect shape. Let's check that out. Cool. So here's the uh, cool looking recess I was talking about. It's, uh, it's angled. And the height that this bridge sits at is exactly the same height as it would be with a uh, tunematic. So they must have had only one neck angle they used, whether you had a Floyd or a uh, trim. All right, so got the control plate off on the back. They did just <laughs> the minimal amount of um, of copper tape on there. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Uh, really dirty. I'm gonna clean this thing up. I'll bet it'll lo look a lot better when it's clean. Uh, this end got bent a little bit and I bent it back, but I think I'm going to do a little bit better than that. Pickups are the Jackson J80. There's no made in USA on here, but they are, in fact, made in USA. Um, I got word yesterday that uh, most of these were done in the San Dimas factory, and they just made a ton of them and held on to them, and they hired a bunch of women to do it, and one of them was Mike Shannon's wife. So maybe, uh, maybe one of these was wound by her. That'd be kind of cool. And the neck, we've got the J50N. And uh, there's a lot of rust on the adjustable pieces, so I'm gonna pull these out and clean them up too. Especially the bridge one where, uh, you know, the sweat from your palm would get on there. Um, the slugs, or the non-adjustable ones, are painted black, so there's no rust on them, but these adjustable ones are, so I'm gonna clean them up. We've got a ground in the bottom of each cavity, even though it doesn't look like it's shielded tape or anything, so I'm not sure what good that does. Maybe there's some uh, shielding tape under there. I don't know. Um, electronics appear to be original. Uh, solder is still super shiny, which is really cool. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Get a little better look. Whoa, other way, dude. Yeah, these appear to be original. I'm gonna clean these out with some deoxid. Uh, interesting to note that the um, these poles that are soldered together, there's a little piece sticking out that is metal that was not insulated, so that's kinda, kinda sloppy. Uh, switch appears to be original. Really no way to know for sure, but still works great. Very positive clicks. And uh, it's just gonna get you know cleaned out. It's interesting they put a bread tie on here to wrap the two um, the two pickup wires. That's kind of crazy. I've never seen that before. There's quite a bit of bucking compound down in here still that'll work its way into the pots and make them uh, need to be replaced. So I'll be cleaning all that stuff out, and getting a uh, deep scrub in there. Let's uh, take a look at the fretboard. There's a little bit of a crack in this one right here. Might be kind of hard to see, but overall the board is pretty clean and the frets are in great shape. Um, we had quite a bit of filler necessary around the uh, inlays, which is something I complained about in my uh, new custom shop that I bought a few years ago. And there's quite a few little spots where they uh, there's little holes in the filler and that's something I complained about on the new one and said that oh the old ones were never like that but I guess I was wrong. Um, overall frets are in great shape and they were kept kept nice and clean. Um, you can see this this bubbling around the edges of the uh, headstock here. If I press on it it kinda it goes down so I'm gonna see uh, I'm gonna think about how I can fix this and how much of a risk it is and if I should just leave it alone. It's like the wood shrunk after it was painted and that's just some delamination. I think I might be able to heat it up and clamp it and maybe it'll stick. Maybe I can poke a hole and fill some CA glue in there and then clamp it. 
I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it. I don't want to mess anything up. I haven't encountered this before. So here is the nut that I pulled out. It says made in Germany on the bottom, R3. This is the spot I'm going to lightly round over with a file and just clean this up with some naphtha. That'll be fine. Uh, the, the screws that go inside the knobs were really nasty. Lots of, uh, lots of dead skin and just general finger cheese on there. Going to clean those up. These guys have a little bit of paint missing, but overall, they're in really good shape. I'm going to stick these, leave these in naphtha overnight to clean them and uh, mix in some 3-in-1 oil and then stick this inside a drill and clean that out with some sandpaper and these will be good to go. These are, uh, these are still totally good. Some of the other parts I pulled out, you know, the screw heads have some... Uh, have some rust going on in there. That's another thing I can stick in naphtha and 3 one oil and clean out with a uh, old toothbrush and get these good to go. This thing's gonna be sweet, man. Here's another look at the uh, damage to the wings. This is super typical for V-shaped guitars. It looks like someone used some black fingernail polish or something to seal it up. I'm gonna leave that. That's, uh, that's how it is and honestly it's probably gonna happen again. Oh, I gotta get the output jack out of there too. So this area is something I'm going to fix. You can see where the uh, fretboard meets the neck. Uh, the fretboard shrank a little bit and just from playing some of the finish got worn off and it's rough and I can feel it with my hands and it's going to just keep flaking off. So I'm going to seal that up with some uh, CA glue and color match it the best I can and sand it flush so that stops happening. And then uh, do the, uh, it's got a tiny bit of fret sprout so I'm going to hit that and do the fret ends real quick, make those really nice and smooth and then we should be good. Oh, let me show you one other thing. I really wish this was all the way filled out and I could see, you know, all the stuff, but here's the, uh, the build number. You know, they cleared the, uh, the piece of paper in there with the, the build sheet or whatever they called it at, at Jackson. But that's it. I uh, wish I could see the rest of it, but it doesn't look like it was ever there. Just kind of weird. But at least I got that and that's pretty cool.